It is now 6-11. I'd like to call the January 9th meeting of the Woodbury Select Board to order. Adjustments to the Select Board agenda, please. Adjustments. Mm. Brandy, Brandy had a, something. Brandy, I please. I would like to bring up something during an executive session. Okay. Um, if we can add that to the end. Got it. Sir. Just wondering what's going to be discussed in the executive session. Oh, I was ready for that. We have to have I'll, a I'll give you a quotation. It's it's probably uh uh yeah, if it's negotiate the appoint employment or evaluation of a public officer clear and imminent peril, except records. Testimony from a parole? No, not that. Contract. Contracts. Yeah. yeah. Evaluation. Labor relations agreements. No, not really. Arbitration. Mediation. Skip, do you have something specific that you're concer no, most concerned about? Because the law is very definitive on why you can enter. Well, confidential attorney negotiation. I would say um, it might fit under the appointment, employment, or evaluation of a public officer. Although it's not me. Mm. Except there's only there are you know certain re reasons why we can go into executive session. If it doesn't fall under that, then and usually when we go into executive session, we have to state the reason and the uh, uh, state mm. statute that it falls under. I'm fine with making it public. I um, I don't think the other person will. And, um, Maybe we can just well, talk about it in the office. Then. It's not an appointed official. It's a hiring. It's a hiring. I mean, uh, does it it's apply to town employee? Well, then. Right, but it's not elected. It's a hire. He was hired. Yeah, it's a town it. employee. So we're discussing so we a town employee. So there is. Evaluation of a public officer or employee. Yes. Yeah. 1 BSA, paragraph 313A3. Other adjustments to the published agenda for the select board? Okay. Hearing none, bills and payroll orders are all in progress and will be finished by the end of the meeting or after the, just immediately after the meeting. We have signature approvals from the three select board members for the December 27th meeting. And now we are open for public comment. Hearing none, we have the town clerk's report, please. Mrs. Jerky. I talked with John Reed today, and the poor man now has COVID, but he told me to send him the town report stuff that I have ready. So I sent him, I don't know, six or eight different emails from the different organizations that have written up things that go into the town report, so he's working with those now. And Brenda and I were just going over the warning, and I left off one of the fire department's articles. Okay. 
which is probably the big one because it's their operating expenses. <laughs> well, yeah, there were three, but they put them, they made them into two, right? I mean, there were well, they were they made them into three, but I think it should be four. Well, it would have been, yeah. In the past, it used to be three, but now they've got the other one with the building, so that would be four if they didn't combine those two. But um. yeah, the one that I left off was the one for the hundred fourteen thousand five seventy six forty four, mm -hmm. which the capital replacement fund is the thirty one thousand, and then the operating <coughs> expenses is eighty three five seventy six forty four. I will. Does it matter which order their articles go in? Well, that's what I wanted to. That's why I wanted because to see a draft. Here, yeah, I don't think so. They have article one is the seventeen eight fifty, and then article two is the one that I have left off. Oh. Article three is the eighty five thousand. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You can put it in the same order I, that they have. Yeah, I think I'd time. use their order. So I will put yeah. it in. And I think the wording on Article 9, the actual wording from the minutes, if I can find them again, it might be a little different. But. I think it's pretty close. Yeah, it's pretty close. But there was an exact there wording. There was a specific totally wording. Board, so. Um. Number 26. Shall Woodbury hold its future annual town meeting on the Saturday preceding the first Tuesday in March? And what minutes was that on, Diana? Uh, September, September 26. 26. To certify the amount of mileage we have for the roads. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Did we do away or add any of this past year? No, and I s actually sent something. You sent that to me, and I sent something on to them. But, okay. um, but no, we haven't added any. Mm -hmm. it's, okay. It's the same. We just have to sign it and send it. Then they sign. They sign it and send it back. And then you can buy it. Uh, okay. And I think, other than the email I forwarded you to about Elizabeth Shed, that's, I think that's all I have. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I will put that other fireman's article in the warning, and then do you want me to send you an email so you can come in and sign it? Yes, please. Yeah, well, we yeah. We have to review it. We should, yeah. We can, when's our next meeting? Oh, two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a 2023 It's the 23rd, 14 days from today. No, that's going to be too long. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, our due date to have it to a hard copy to the printers is the 23rd. Yeah, yeah can't do it. We will be having a special budget, budget. meeting, and there's yeah. no reason we couldn't have mm -hmm. that as part of the agenda. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. I agree. Good, so after I add that article in there tomorrow, I can scan it and send it to you guys as an attachment. Sure. But I'm letting you know that, I, that. I have it ready. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see. That got us onto town report status in some ways. And we, uh, would this be a good time to just read off what positions are going to be up for election? That's a good idea. Well, if we have the town treasurer, three years, I believe we have an incumbent. We, you're going to run, right? 
Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> select board member, we're gonna need a select board member, we're gonna need a lister. I think we're gonna need two auditors. Uh, well, I think, I think we're gonna need two lister positions on here, Robin, because I think Ron's position is up for three years and then there's an empty one for Mary Ganjemi who retired during the year. Okay. So I don't know whether hers will be a, that one will be a two year or one year. Yep, I have to see what the timing is of those. Uh, like your delinquent taxes, I believe she'll there's an incumbent. Years. Grand juror, town law agent. We might have done away with those. Um, Haven't, maybe not. But that I know check. of, we have not. Hmm? We have not. We have not? What do you mean? Not been electing those positions. Yeah, last year it was not on the. Uh, I think those are two that were. I don't think that. Do you have the state. town report, Diana? It would be on the. Um, yeah, I have it You have it here. Yeah, because yeah, I think. It's not um, on there for last year. Steve, it was on there for 2020. Yeah. For I think Steve Freihofner advised that we. Get rid of those. Don't have to do those anymore. Both of, Both of those positions. That's, that's my memory, but you know, I'm not a. Yep. But if they weren't in that town report, if they weren't in last year's, I think it was the first year that we eliminated. We eliminated those positions. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, another thing, I seem to think that I was told at some seminar or something that we no longer have to have those. Two uh, articles, uh, will the voters authorize and empower the select board to borrow money on the credit of the town? You know, the select board has that authority, so it doesn't really need to be voted on. And the other one was, will the voters authorize and empower the select board to borrow money to pay current expenses in anticipation of taxes raised and uncollected? I'll check back and see whether those still have to be on there. Who is writing up the um, dedications for Peter and David? John said he would work on those. You said John? John Reed said okay. he would work on those. Yeah. So anyways, uh, cemetery commissioner, one, one position. I don't know who's running for that. Library trustee has four positions, and I don't know who's, who the incumbents are or whether they're running again. Hazen Union School District Director. Steve Fahalfer's up for that one this year. Right. Yep. I hope he's going to run again, but I don't know. Maybe get around to ask him. Okay. So that's that. Lots of fun opportunities. <laughs> right, Skip? <laughs> If you're not at town meeting, you could be voted something. Yeah. Well, we're not going to throw you under the bus. <coughs> Same for that. In the open floor the town meeting. The door, <laughs> That's different. <laughs> okay, so we're making progress on yes. on this, which is good. All right. Um, can we move on to the town treasurer's report? Please. So I, as we briefly graze over, um, so I did go with the same supplier for town report um, and in order to hold that spot. Um, I threw my signature on there and let them know we will be going with them again. Um, so over the past two weeks, you have a balance sheet, financial statements, and due to, due from. So income that came in was, um, of course we're just tipping the beginning of the month. So cash receipts, we took in $370.01. Um, dog licenses, prepaid taxes. Um, delinquencies, we took in $10,664.48. 
payroll over the last two weeks, $11,834.96. Accounts payable, $15,849.34. I had sent out and made copies, uh, Sylvian, Sylvian, Sullivan and Powers gave us a draft of the CPA audit. Um, I'm going to select for to review it, um, and then I need to sign off on it. The uh, memo, the email from Tom yep. Beers yep. suggested that you make sure that you're si you know what you're signing off on because there's a lot of stuff on there that he thinks might not actually be things that you are responsible for. I forget what he said, but. So the letter is right here if you want to look at it. Yeah. Yeah, I, you know, I don't feel all that comfortable. Um, not that I'm the one signing off, but if we're supposed to review it, a lot of this language, you know, if I would need a, 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 a primer <laughs> to, you know, it's just too, mm -hmm. too full of legalese and different uh, accounting terms that I don't, I don't have the knowledge to, to um, know what are, you know, what this thing is all about and what to watch out for. Um, and and our, it would be nice to have our auditors. Uh, weigh in as far as what they think about it. Right. So that I can incorporate an email to hopefully reach out to the auditors and ask their input um, and, and group you in an email. Who handed me this? Michael, is this your copy? Well, no, it's uh, just here for the oh, table. Sure. It's okay. Chris's That's name mine, on it. Mine, but it's here for all of us. Okay. Um, other than that, uh, working on the budget, and you have a draft budget number two, um, and then hopefully we can set a date between. To, um, so that it's finalized for the printers, which is due 20 to 23rd. Do we want to try to set a date right now? or Yes, please. Yeah, want to okay. do it like next Monday night? Uh, I have a planning commission meeting that night. Okay. 17th, when we're open at the office, so we can just do it in the other room. That's a Tuesday? Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. let's see. Yeah. That would work. 17, there's something. There's a like a fuzzy red flag in my head, but I can't mm -hmm. figure out what it. What it, why? Well, let's do a tentative. Well, let's let's say I'll. Yeah. Um, it seems like that should work. So the 17th. Um, mm -hmm. 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Great. Okay. Where's our road commission? Miss Brandy, oh. do you have anything else that you want to bring up while we have a moment? No, okay. Awesome. Great. We do not have our road commissioner here, so we can't really have that conversation. Can we go ahead, Mr. Turkey? Yes, mm -hmm. please. We have gotten a request for an abatement. And I'm reading over the stuff, and it says it has to be warned in the same five dates, personal and posted. What does that mean? In the same what? It says it has to be warned in the same five personal and posted notices as required for the Board of Civil Affairs. Well, that means the places you have to post it. So I have to post it for five days before we hold the meeting? No, we have to post it in five places. The post office, the bulletin board, the blah, 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 the five places with that we don't have. So we can't always do well, five places. Well, Front Porch sure Forum and the uh, website would be two other places. Right, yep. Yeah. But it's always Which supposed to be five it. places, and yeah, we don't really have five places. But yeah, so that's what that means. Did it say anything about the length of time to, it has to be posted? That's what I was wondering about those five days. Mm. Oh, it said five days? Yeah. Oh. Right? 
personal and posted notice as in? Do we have a copy of that, Mr. I'm sorry. No. I haven't I have not seen it. So we're so looking at the guidance on No, 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 this is oh, from the Secretary of State's office. Mm. So 5 days personal that that to me that would read that you the whoever is requesting the abatement, you would have to let them know when it was scheduled 5 days ahead of time or beforehand. That that's my thought on that. I don't know if that's yeah. correct or not. And then posted within the public posting. Does it say personal and public, or? It says the five days personal. Mm -hmm. And then posted notice as required by the board of civil authority. Mm -hmm. I'll call secretary of state's office. All right. I'm sorry, Mr. E. I don't have an answer for that either. So you all will be invited. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind seeing a copy of that at some it's point. It's a whole book on just abatement. Don't really, no, just the specific abatement request. That whole, oh, we don't have it in writing. It technically should have been an errors and omission last year, and it was missed. No, well, that's, that's not really true. Okay. But His place burnt down. We'll explain, we'll explain it in the notice. I think I already know what we're talking about. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Good. All right, we are going to skip the road commissioner's report because we do not have <coughs> someone to give it. I can tell you a little bit about what that is about because I did discuss that with Alfie and Greg last week when we worked on the budget, highway budget, but um, I really wanted him to, to bring it up before the select board rather than me. That's better. I think that we should wait So we then. can wait, okay. Okay. We have a callous court decision regarding horses, but our question is whether or not we should be considering a large animal ordinance. Um, this was the thing that Chuck wanted that to Chuck talk wanted about. to talk about. So Chuck, are you with us? Did you, Joan, did I you am. see this? All right. All right, Chuck, you are as loud as we can make you, and you are on for anything you want to discuss about this. Well, I'd like to know what the select board thinks about that. Uh, uh, what East Callus has done. Um, I haven't seen the actual ordinance that um, Callus has written up, but I do know that it was written up specifically to deal with this particular person and their horses. Um, it, that was the sole reason that that ordinance happened because of the ongoing troubles that Callus had for many, for quite a few years with this particular person who now lives in Woodbury or has property in Woodbury and also has horses in Woodbury. So Or could. Or could. Yeah. And if, if she gets and the horses been back. problems since she's been there with them horses. Right. They've been all over our lawn shitting on it and everything else. Yeah. Can we've had pro flowers up. We've, we've had, had problems in Woodbury with the same horses. What's that? We've had problems in Woodbury with the same horses, I agree. That's right. No. In the road and everywhere else. Tearing up people's lawns, Larry Gilbert, little Larry Gilbert. Um, I think that the town of Woodbury should strongly think about adopting the same, the same uh, amendment or whatever it is. It's an ordinance. Because Callis has already done the, the battling for you. It seems like a win-win situation for the town of Woodbury all the way around. Right. I, I would tend to agree with you, Chuck. I know that um, back a few years ago when we had a pair of horses get loose and one was killed right in the village that um, Skip Lindsay, yes. who happens to be here tonight, did rewrite our own town um, animal ordinance to include large animals. I don't remember the text in it, and it, we never had our animal control officer kind of review it and okay it, so it, it's sort of a, in limbo as a draft at this point. It was never really adopted 
by the select board. Um, well, in my opinion, I would like to see that thrown out and adopt the one that Callis has got. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've already been to court. They've already done the legal work on it. If it works for one town, it, there's no reason it had no work for another. Yeah. <gasps> Yeah, the fact that they've done all the work putting it to, with the language and all, um, I, I kind of and, did the work for us. And the court supported it. It did, and I can't, I can't see how you could miss by adopting it. Right. We just need people to tell us, Chuck. <laughs> so what do you need, a petition? That's no, what no, just, I just people. I want to figure out what i got to do. Just people to show some interest. Interest. interest? You have interest? I have interest, I, but I, I mean, my read of the, I haven't read the ordinance, but I've read the oh, article. No, I just gave, I gave him. That's uh, for you. I'll give okay. him this one. This is the cow. pretty ordinance. simple, okay. yeah. yeah. Yeah, but my who read I, of, Who am I listening to now? Oh, it's Jonah, Chuck. Who? Jonah, your neighbor. Oh, hey, how you doing? <laughs> Good, how you doing? <laughs> um... My, my read of the decision, though, was that the law is not complete because it doesn't, it doesn't speak to remedy. There, the, the callus is going to be working on their making those changes to their ordinance, and we right. can take advantage of that, too, <laughs> since it won't be tomorrow that we adopt this. Right. Right. So, Jonah, tell me how you feel about it. Um, I'm, 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 you know... Having just read it, I, I certainly think that something, we need to have some approach around it. It wasn't clear to me in the, in the little bit of research I've done whether, you know, there are state laws that apply here as well um, from my reading of state laws. And so I don't know how that works <laughs> and whether it, if we're adopting an ordinance, are we, are we taking any pressure off the state to be managing some of this? Um, <laughs> Well, last so. summer when they were loose playing down by the town ah! office, we called the state police and they wouldn't come out. This, no one, yeah. I wouldn't expect the state to do anything to help. Mm. Yeah. Sorry. No, no, I, I, I'm not. I just, <laughs> that's why I'm bringing it up, you know. Um, and our animal control officer is not running again. Right, right. Oh, no. Mm. So I think some, 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 anything we can take. Is that Kim, Robin? Yes. Anything we can take from a town that already has fees, whether it's zoning violation, dog <coughs> violation, the, the town gets some policies in place mm. um, so that we can start having upper hands. Of, if, if we don't have an animal control officer, do we have any way of enforcing this? <laughs> well, not at the moment. Not at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be looking for somebody to be the animal control Add that officer. to the list of right. potential <laughs> jobs. You didn't read that one out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm sorry to hear Those that. Those are appointments instead of elections. So right. that's why I didn't get rid of You probably won't let the officer carry a big stick either, right? <laughs> <laughs> what stick do you want, Chuck? <laughs> well, probably best not to say it right now. Gotcha. <laughs> Yeah, All right, I'm certainly so. in favor of there being, you know, ha having been uh, um, mm -hmm. ha having been affected by that by this mm -hmm. this problem. Um, yeah, I'm I'm in favor of there being of the town having a, a an ordinance around this, so that it's clear to I I I I, I will read this. I, I hadn't read it yet. I you know one thing for me is we're we're we are a rural community, and I want to make sure we're not. You know, th this is a repeated situation that Callis was responding to. Mm -hmm. And we've had it here in Woodbury with this particular individual, but I want to make sure we're not penalizing somebody who's, you know, otherwise a responsible uh, livestock owner mm -hmm. who, you know, has an occasional challenge of, mm -hmm. of an animal getting out, you know, mm -hmm. where we're, you know, we're not writing it into our laws, I, you know, we're pretty reasonable at this point, but I don't want it to be in our ordinance that somebody's unduly uh, uh, punished. Yeah. I, I certainly, I certainly think we need to have we need to have something because if that yeah. keeps going on, someone's going to get hurt. Without an an ordinance, there's no way that we can enforce anything. And, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I got my hand up. <laughs> okay. okay, we're listening. You know, I, 
I've been around Woodbury all my life. I was born there, grew up there, and I've been around animals a lot. And if animals are fenced in decent, and they got enough to eat, and they got water, they won't roam far. Mm -hmm. They like a full belly. And when they're up there, and they're trying to live on fucking alders and corn cobs and everything else, Mm -hmm. you ain't going to keep them in that pasture up there. When it's chewed right down to nothing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, and if, if the person that owns them is not responsible enough or smart enough to figure that out, then it seems to me that we've got to step up and do something about it. And I don't mean feed them. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, ordinance says under... Item three, prohibition. The owner of livestock shall not allow, permit, or suffer such livestock to run at large in the town of, well, this prohibition shall not include situations where the owner of the livestock has taken reasonable measures to contain the animal. So. I believe that to be true. I, I think yeah. that's the way that yeah, it should that, be. That's the check. But if, they, if it's right happening and happening again, then something's got to be done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've had fair warning, you know, just looking what's happened in Callis over the last three or four years. And uh, and what's happened in Woodbury the last two years. Two years. Mm, yeah. yeah. And we Already. Know that, well, and it happened in East You East know what's coming. Before that. Really? The, the same, same person? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Yeah, the same person. Yeah. Oh. So. You know what's coming. Yeah. Yeah. So we have an opportunity to... Take advantage of an appropriate ordinance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, it's under consideration. Yeah. I would like to be kept posted on this. Uh, as you all know, I'm in Florida, and I would like to know, I would like to uh, be kept in the loop on this deal. Yeah. That's fair enough. You'd like to what? I'm kept afraid, in the loop. I'm afraid he could oh. shoot right by me and. No, then I think, get home and I'd have to fight all summer to get you guys straightened out. No, I don't think you have to do any uh, mm-hmm. arm twisting on on our end, um, but it just it might you know it might take us a, a meeting or two to to well, get this I, thing to get know, it up to get it set up and, and reviewed. It's a whole be a while before she gets them back, but I would like to have things in place so but, that it could be uh, policed when it is in place. Yeah, mm-hmm. fair enough. Yeah. And I. Had, I agree with Jonah that, you know, if people have horses or animals, they get out once in a while, it's Vermont. You know yeah. what? Suck mm-hmm. it up. But when it's an everyday occurrence, that's something else. Mm-hmm. And usually, you know, if an owner's horses or cows get out and they might do something to somebody's garden or whatever, usually the owner of the animals will make amends to the person that was whose well, property was damaged, but that's not true in this case. a good Vermonter would understand it. And yes. Would I'm talking about a good Vermonter, not somebody who just doesn't take yeah. any responsibility at all. actually show up exactly. to get their animals. That, yeah. is, that is a big problem. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, if that's the end of the conversation, I would like to thank you for your, your time and let me speak. And... Um, I'll look forward to hearing from you. Yeah, and I'm sorry, Chuck, the equipment didn't work tonight. I don't know why, but... Um, I think What's Steve up? wants to speak before yeah. Chuck may want to hear. Yep, go That's ahead. Our... So, wait, hold on, Chuck, don't go. Skip Lindsay is going to speak. So I agree okay. with Chuck and with Jonah, too, that we should have um, this ordinance on... The Move that phone Woodbury closer show. to him, would you? Oh, yeah. Can you, would you, Jonah? Yeah. Thank you. There you go. He never Thanks, talks man. louder. So, that's that's so on, a, on a different, different note, but still in the animal realm, uh, there's another person up on Old Quarry Road who has vicious dogs. Okay, and Woodbury does have an ordinance for vicious dogs, mm-hmm. and what these dogs do, if you take a hike up at Old Quarry Road, they'll come out and they'll bark at you and they'll snarl at you. And one day I was uh, doing a 911 address up there, and I had to defend myself with my wheel to keep these dogs away from me. Mm. So what I'd like to do is 
have the owner of these dogs informed of the existing Woodbury Ordinance, which says if dogs threaten you, just come out running at you, mm -hmm. barking, and you're afraid that you're going to get bitten, then the animal control officer, or in this case, we don't have one, we still board. have one. We still have one currently. Yeah. The select board should intervene and let this person know of the ordinance and enforce it as much as they can. It's just... It's, it's fair enough. Not that they have to bite you. It's just you, you have mm -hmm. to feel... Threatened. Right. Well, I had to... I went up to, on that road at that location, to try to measure the setback for a shed that's been a, an issue. Sure. And I... Didn't dare get out of the car because they just ran up. I just was afraid they're going to jump on my car, and I certainly wasn't going to get out and see if well, they're going to yeah. jump on me. So I yeah, I agree. Am, you know, not armed. You know, <laughs> thinking that I didn't have to be. Yeah. Just I, going up there doing a 911 or this, but absent, mm -hmm. absent that, you know, we should alert her that you know we do have an mm -hmm. ordinance, and that if someone feels threatened, then the dogs could be taken mm -hmm. away. Has anybody contacted Kim Silk? Secondarily, I believe these dogs aren't registered either. So if they're not registered or licensed, I guess that's... Licensed, mm -hmm. correct. They can be impounded. Then are they? Chances are they don't have any ra rabies shots. Mm -hmm. And so if someone gets bitten, they run the risk of you know, contracting rabies. Okay. Can I say something here? Or? Sure. Yep, you're good. Go ahead, Chuck. Can I have that back so we can do by the microphone? Hang on one second, Chuck. Hang on one second. We're going to move you back. Hang on one second. All right, Chuck, go ahead. Why, if Skip's done, I'd like to say yeah. Skip My wife done. used to walk that circle all the time up old Corey Road and down the Cabot Road and back to the house. And she doesn't dare do it now. And Rita Richardson is another one that won't mm -hmm. go up that road because of those two dogs. Mm -hmm. And I went up to there last fall just before we left. I had my arm hanging out the window, and one of them nipped at my fingers. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> and she hollered and got them back. But I'll tell you what, the next time I go up through there, they nip at my fingers, and they ain't going to be good. Okay. It's okay. Just don't go any further. <laughs> All right. We got it. Thanks, but, sir. yes, I agree with Skip 100%. Something needs to be done, and they need to be... If they're running loose, they ain't supposed to be running loose. They're supposed to be on a leash. Mm -hmm. And if they're out there running up down that old coy road, boy, I don't know. Mm. To some people, that would be fair game. All right, Chuck. Thank you for your comments. We appreciate it. All right. So, is this subject done? Unless we have other comments. Uh, I was looking at the third page of this ordinance. Chuck, I'll send you a copy. It looks like it was a fairly quick process. The uh, board in Calais had, had an agenda item at a regular select board meeting on July 12th. July 21st, they signed the ordinance. They posted it in public places. Notice of adoption published in the Times Argus on July 24th. And uh, within 40 days of adoption of an ordinance, 5% of the voters may submit a petition, blah, blah, blah. They, so it looked like it was adopted uh, effective September 10th. So it's not a long process. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. If we uh, decide to... I, I will orchestrate a, a petition. I can do it from here, but... Um, yeah, I, I think the petition was for appealing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah petition is only for appealing it. So I, w I would like to make a motion that we start the adoption process and get a Word document from Callis and, and uh, start working on our adoption process. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right, so Chuck, do you hear that? I did. Okay, Thank you very so much. we're I we're appreciate it. we're gonna start and making I, making some progress on this. We'll have I to make some modifications, but we're gonna start working on it. All right, good deal. Oh, I appreciate yep. the time and uh, like well, I say, I Chuck, don't leave yet. Chuck, don't leave yet. Okay. 
Skip has some. Skip has one more thing. No, just just a question. So, what shall we do about these dogs? How how do I proceed? Oh. To make, do I make a formal complaint to the select board? You do, okay. so that we can inform Kim Silk, yeah, yeah. and then we can move forward. Mm -hmm. and, and you can call Kim Silk yourself. I know, but I'm just a citizen. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, we're, we're powerful. <laughs> okay. Okay. Chuck, what I'll do is... Yes, send Chuck. something in writing. Chuck, what I'll do is I'll put together a letter and send it to you, email... And uh, yeah. take, take a look at it, and uh, we can both sign it. Perfect. Okay. If Jonah wants to take a look at it and sign it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. All right. Yeah. I'm all for it. All right. Thanks, Chuck. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Sorry, Skip. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Skip, did you see this article What's from the Times Argus no. No. about no. the horses? Okay, here's a. I made some copies. Nobody's here for that. <laughs> I see him walking through my yard. So. <laughs> 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 well, this it, <coughs> kind of gives you a sense that's of the legal the, take on it, and and um, right. That's more about the ordinance. Yeah. About well, the court decision. Right. Yeah. That supported the ordinance. Mm. All right. And then if you'd like, Robert could send you the latest email message from the yeah, owner, too. Yeah. Which is inter oh, well. interesting, pretty interesting in itself. It's in in from the lady who owns the horses. Owns the horses. Yeah, maybe, maybe you should get it, too. Just I, I wouldn't mind seeing that. Maybe What's we should, your email address? Maybe we should just, oh, po okay. maybe we should just post it. <laughs> I don't think so. Want to look at it, Jonah? Oh, you got it? Yeah, you yep. can just look at this. Just take a look at the draft. <laughs> okay. Uh, other business. Any updates on the Nichols Dam Road? I don't have point? any updates on that. I, I just uh, did go by there the other day, mm -hmm. Saturday, and uh, so I'm kind of surprised that they... Just went ahead and did all that without checking with anybody and just assuming that it's their road. There's a gate. There's signs, like they said. There's signs that say fishing this way, and then you go down the road, and there's a snowmobile trail that says ice fishing this way. Mm -hmm. um, that gate was open, and it also had some times uh, a sign that said that the gate was open between... Some time. Yeah. <laughs> Close them Between time. 5 a.m. and 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and those are the same signs that are down at the dam and at that um, original gate at the bottom of the hill. Um, and it, although the directional signs about where to access the mm. pond for ice fishing this winter, those are new. Um, mm. yeah. I'd like to see if you could send me that email you got from Steve Fraser. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I can send okay. that to you. Yeah, yeah I mean... Um, well. Do we have any plans? Are we going to hire an attorney to determine whether that's a town road? or? Uh, well, that would, we would have to prove that the town was a, you know, um, adopted as a Class 4 road. We'd have Why? to find that. Because that's what we're saying it is. Yeah, but there, just because somebody else says it's not... We Why don't have it our duty to, to prove that it is our road and it has been our road all these years. Well, we um, don't really have any evidence. Well, there is yeah, another legal. Right. There is a, if we want to go this route, there is another legal strategy. And Steve Frazier mentioned it. It's called. Um, uh, there's two terms which I can never remember, but he mentioned it in his letter. Well, there's yeah. the right of way. Yeah. Well, there's Part. that. You know. Right. Where it's first of all, it's been used as a public road. 
mm. for years. I mean, yeah. I've been going there since 1954, and that was the road mm. that people used to access the pond. Um, the other road was already long forgotten. Um, but, um, and in the old, the V-Trans maps up until 1989, the old road that they reopened, that's the Skidoo Trail, that was, des that's what the state declared as the town you think road. So? Town road. Yes, you it really is. think so? If you I knew that, those, it is. Those maps were kind of... But do you know the lay of the roads there? Mm, I they're, do. They're wonky. And and the, the road that they had designated up until like 1989 is the old historical road. They didn't have the, the road, the other road there at all. Um, so. And this is what, is this the one they're using for the snowmobile trail now? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, and those V-Trans, I mean, I don't trust state maps that no, much. No, I know. Because they're, they're based on information that other based people give them. They don't, and, you know, the V-Trans maps are... I consider them the same. I mean, they were using a, an old generic map that didn't even, um, and you know, it was maps. like the 1878 map that we have down at the town mm -hmm. office. Which, mm -hmm. That's basically the map that they were using for um, both the, you know, the shape of Nichols and East Long. It's, and it's still not correct. It's right. on the ground. So, um, was Woodbury Granite ever up in that area? Mm, no. Okay. No. There are some boutique quarries. That are in there, but they're ancestral. Yeah, and so. you know the the old Buck Lake Road is more um, where all of the quarries. There's another one called Corkscrew, Corkscrew. Road. Yeah, yeah. That, um, and a lot of the quarries were located along what's the Stratton Road and Hardwick, and then it turns into the Buck Lake Road and Woodbury, and goes through to the uh, Buck Lake. To Buck Lake. Yeah. There are a number of small quarries on it, but they were never really productive. Yep. And those never show up on a map. Right. I've been wanting to check in with Hardwick Electric to see if they have any historical, you know, was that road built um, to for access to the dam for the electrical company? Um, I'm... Um, but, you know... If, the town can claim it as a town road through this um, term that Stephen Fraser mentions. One of them is public use and the fact that the town has in the past uh, worked the road to upkeep it. Mm -hmm. um, so, and that, But that's a long, expensive legal battle, and if the town wants to do that, that's, um, well, that's up to the town. I don't know why. I don't, well... You say um, we don't have any evidence, but we haven't looked for any evidence. No, we haven't, and we can look. Um, and they haven't provided any evidence that it's a private road right. either. It's just what they say. Um, John Meyer did mention something that in the time of the um, 911 listings that um, the select board agreed at that point in time that... Um, it was a private road, and that's what the road sign says. It doesn't. It says private on the the Nichols Dam mm. road. So I don't. I wasn't on the select board then. I don't remember when that mm. happened. Um, uh, you know. So um, I that would be. I looked that sign the other day, and I didn't notice it. Uh huh. It's a that private, it yeah, private, it's private road. road. So that's another route to go. Um, mm. If the select board agreed at some point in time, we'd have to find the minutes that 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 happened at. Um, um, you know, so, so that would be actually be a mark against the town if the select board at that point in time agreed that it was a private road. Um, that was probably no not a decision that was specifically made. The whole 911 road naming process was, uh, yeah, it's a little... Well, according to John Meyer, there was a select board meeting where the select board did agree that that road was Oh, private. really? I didn't hear that part. No. Hmm. Does it say in the 911 map that it's a private road? Yes. I'll have to look at that. Yes. Okay. Really? Yes. I haven't seen that. Actually, here's... 
Fantastic. I don't know if this is the 911 listing, but. Um, it's Town it's, Highway 13. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that mic over there is, is a legend that will tell mm -hmm. you whether it's a private road or mm -hmm. a class three, class yeah. four. According to the trail. Vermont Atlas viewer, when you look at the E911 map, it is classified as a private road. Yeah. Here on the listing that the town has um, for town roads and private roads, Nichols Pond Road is listed as a private road. And then over here on the Woodbury Town Roads, um, Town Highway 13, the Nichols Dam Road is listed as a Woodbury Town Road. So, you know, again, um, hmm. you know, our own, this document, and I don't know where this came from, um, I've never seen that. Sorry. Yeah, it's it's actually that. up in the town office. But yeah, I'm, not aware of the, I'm not aware of that one. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's where been the, around a while. I think it's probably <clears throat> since. Well, yeah, it might be even before nine one one. So so this listing lists Nichols Pond Road as both a town road and a private road. Um, not terribly helpful. No. But Nichols so, Pond Road is the one that comes from Hardwick, right? Yes. The mm -hmm. main road. That's definitely yeah. Class 4. Yeah. And there's another... Although here, at, uh, Diana, uh, again on this listing that hangs up at the town office, Nichols, or maybe, yeah, it, it just says Nichols Pond. It doesn't say a road, but... Mm. Um, so th that's why I'm just saying that the town records are really not all that mm -hmm. useful useful either so um, but we do the town could you know use the argument of the use the public use of the road and the fact that the town has maintained the road uh, somewhat reluctantly since I've been on the select board but um, those are two arguments that um, there are precedents in, in legal um, work for um, a town to claim that as a town road um, but that would be probably kind of a long, drawn-out legal battle that would cost the town quite a bit of money. Um, I don't know why the town should have to pay money to prove something that's ours. It's always been well, ours. That's because the lawyers... What uh, lawyers? And we could argue our own case if we wanted, I guess. <laughs> um, and, you know, just as being a camp owner up there and being aware of the... And I've mentioned this at other select board meetings... The dam area, which this road, whether it's a town road or not, um, the dam and the property there is private. Um, it's not a town-owned dam, and the, pro the property where the dam is located is not town-owned. Um, but that place during uh, the drivable year, times of year, is a very... Um, um, obnoxious popular, popular party spot party spot um people driving in and out at all times mm -hmm. of the night and blasting their truck stereos till 2 a.m in the morning um a lot of heavy drinking shooting um drug dealing blah 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 um and there's no and the reason we put up those signs um and the town we, was a part of that yeah the town was a part of those the wording of those signs is is a uh, so that there could be some enforcement there, like the, the sign that says that the road is closed or the dam is closed from uh, 8 p.m. in the evening to 5 a.m. in the morning, um, was so that some a cop or whatever could go down there, policeman, police person, could go down there and enforce that. Um, but the police don't go there. Um, yeah. So the, the camp owners are really fed up with what goes on there. And this has gone on back in the uh, late 70s. I had a car vandalized on the dam. Um, and it was pretty much, I just got hauled away for scrap metal. I mean, I would have helped them vandalize it. <laughs> that car was nothing but yeah. a pain in the butt anyway. Um, but that's the kind of behavior that's gone on yeah. there um for years well, um, there's a place i like that up by nick uh, by cole's pond too mm -hmm. it's only been about five years since these people bought it but they come up on the weekends and they've got cars parked on the road they've got several rvs there's no zoning up there so they've got a bunch of different rvs and and shooting off fireworks and loud music and that's annoying too yeah but 
if they're on their own property, then that's a different issue, I guess. Um, so I just want folks to know why that gate is there, because the camp owners are tired of uh, nobody being able to do anything about what goes on up there. Um, you know, it's totally isolated, so people feel that, um, and there really isn't any en enforcement at all to, um, you know, one of the camp owner closest to the dam um, has, you know, initially when the dam was repaired, um, and those kind of terms of the use were, were um, posted, um, you know, they would go down there and ask, tell people that, you know, it's time to leave. Um, and some people would leave and other people would be, get really nasty about it. So most camp owners up there don't really feel that they want to risk um, trying to uh, mm -hmm. let people know that it's time to go home. Um, so, but the whole issue with the road, you know, um, it would be really nice to resolve that, mm -hmm. whether it is public or private. Um, there's another road off the north road that it's kind of a similar situation where the actual town road and it was Steve Fraser that cleared this up for me is actually cabled off um, and got totally destroyed by a logger a few years ago and the road that people use now again for many many years um, is a private road um, but a and the town has never maintained it at all. Camp owners have. Um, and I think it was originally built by E.B. Hyde um, to use for logging. Um, so it's another private road that's publicly used because the public road um, is been so badly trashed mm -hmm. that you can't even drive over it anymore. And somebody's cabled it off because it hasn't been used for years. And then again, in my experience, being up there as a camp owner, um, that road has existed ever since I can remember. Um, and now that I'm an old timer, um, my memory goes back at least 50 years. So. Um, and in case of those roads, probably 60 years. So that cable is not. The just cable is illegal, illegal, but it's. Illegal, but yeah. nobody brought, nobody's taken it down. Nobody's taken it down. Until somebody. Runs into it, yeah. gets killed. Oh, well, well, the road is pretty much undrivable anyway, so I don't think there's much to worry about. But that is the town road, according. And Steve Fraser is very good at this stuff. He's mm -hmm. a surveyor um, and has done a lot of road work. Um, so, may we move on to West yeah. Woodbury Cemetery, right. please? Any updates? I think I reported last. You time did that last week. You reported. I had been at, at a meeting and I didn't realize. I don't know if I told you. I think I did say that I didn't realize until we were leaving the meeting that I was told that the cemetery commission was never in favor of that whole project, but the select board decided to let them go ahead with it. Well, that's not. Totally not true. Really they, true. Okay. they were not in favor of it, and then the select board agreed to um, that the town would cover the costs, which, um, and you know, any of their concerns, the select board agreed for the town to take the responsibility for those. And, and mostly it was the cost involved in, in uh, the, surveying, the surveying, et cetera. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Which we covered. Yeah, and so at that point, the cemetery commission was okay with uh, moving forward. Huh. Or at least that's what they told us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, the surveyor came up with what she thought they wanted and it turned out to be not really a good plan. Um, just filling up the whole place with these little five by five lots. So I actually sat down with the plan with the survey and kind of tried to design something that was going to be a little nicer looking, more in line with, you know, a country cemetery. So she's redoing the survey now and hopefully the, I mean, there'll be like 20 full, full size lots and 40 little lots with some rows in between them. Mm -hmm. And hopefully that'll satisfy people. 
Wasn't there testing done so you could only go so deep on part of it? No, that's it was what the, the reasoning for the cremation area was the well shield. Yeah, it was a, there's a well involved. There's yeah. a depth issue as well. You're not wrong about that. There's a depth issue as well as the well shield issue. We don't have that information though. Our surveyor should have done it. It should be in that report. So you did send that information to the mm -hmm. surveyor? No. Yep. Huh. Yeah. Don't know. Okay, so we'll see the redesign plan that uh, maybe makes the Cemetery Commission and the folks from Westwood Bray happier ish. Mm. Uh, any CV fiber updates? Yes, Michael? I can give um, some CV fiber updates. So um, I contacted Karen Kotecki, the woman who's um, working on the permitting um, for CV fiber. Um, and I, I told her that Rathburn Road was a private road, so she'll be, um, you know, finding out who the landowners are and dealing um, with the permits with the private landowners. And um, I mentioned that um, nobody had come to meet with Alfie at all to review the different sections of the road where they want to put in mm -hmm. um, underground cable. And she told me that the person who's doing the contracting work for that um, would be contacting Alfie. Um, I haven't asked Alfie if he's been, mm. that's happened yet. I think I spoke with Karen um, the Tuesday after our last select board meeting. Um, and it would have been um, a Wednesday. Meeting was on a Tuesday. Yeah, and she agreed that we probably, you know, she had done kind of a blanket permit application um, and speaking with Alfie and just, you know, for the, as it's kind of modeled after a driveway access, it seemed to make sense to have an application for each um, road and each mm -hmm. section of road where there would be underground cable, so there would be a record of where that stuff is. Um, she agreed to that, um, and um, so I, I printed out some applications for Alfie. Um, I'll drop them off at the garage. Um, so she submitted the no, she's she oh. um, she handed it over to the contractor who will be doing the work, who oh. will, who was supposed mm -hmm. to schedule a meeting with Alfie to look at all of this pieces of road where they want to put in mm -hmm. um, the underground cable and you know have a, have a discussion with Alfie about it and and then on the application the terms that Alfie would want to have. Um, for them, for the cable will be will be written on the applications. Um, so, and I don't know whether Alfie's been contacted or not mm -hmm. by the contractor. I also um, received from CV Fiber um, uh, to 2022 report to member towns. Um, I, I'll send that to everybody, but I could quickly read it if you would like, um, or. Um, depending on our time frame. Um, Is that something that, they, that should go in the town report? Um, it could. That would be, this would be a great I thing to have be, in the town I report, actually. I think that would be actually. ideal. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And, you know, when I spoke with Karen, they're, they're already, they're working on um, the top of Foster Hill. Not, I mean, they're working on the callous end of that road. I don't know what oh. it's called mm -hmm. in callous, but, um, mm -hmm. so that's one that she definitely wanted the contractor to get in touch with Alfie on because they're already a laying mm -hmm. cable along that road mm -hmm. and they have to go into Woodbury a, a little bit down mm -hmm. Foster Hill Road mm -hmm. the cable the underground good part. luck avoiding all those big old maples right <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah so what did I it's like three or four paragraphs so um, yep please go ahead CV Fiber 2022 report to member towns CV Fiber is a nonprofit municipal entity governed by volunteer delegates who are appointed by our 20-member Central Vermont towns, of which Woodbury is a part. Our aim is to provide access to fast, dependable, and affordable internet service, with the first priorities being those who are unserved or underserved. CV Fiber will provide homes with speeds ranging from 100 Mbps, whatever that stands for. Megabits, megabits, per, megabits per, second. per second, thank you, to two gigs and businesses with speeds ranging from one gig to 10 gigs. Speeds will always be symmetrical. For example, 100 
um, megabits per second download and 100 megabits per second upload for the best interactive experience for education, telemedicine, conference calls, business gaming, and more. Providing rural Vermont with this level of service will enhance education, enable our workforce, create opportunities, and support the state's economy. The 1,200-mile CV fiber community broadband network will cost an estimated $60 million and take approximately three years to construct, provided funding material and labor are available. It is anticipated that federal grants will fund 50 to 60 percent of the construction with the remainder funded through debt financing. CV Fiber cannot receive town tax dollars and will support its ongoing operations with subscription revenues. Initial construction started in December 2022. CV Fiber plans to construct up to 550 miles of its community broadband network in 2023. To keep costs to subscribers down, 13 member towns, of which Woodbury is also a part, have allocated $833,000 of Town American Rescue Plan Act ARPA fund funds to CV Fiber. <coughs> These funds are matched dollar for dollar by the Vermont Community Broadband Board for a total contribution of $1.67 million. Town allocations are used within the town and directly benefit residents. The Vermont Community Broadband Board is extending the dollar for dollar match through May 2023, providing each of our member towns the opportunity to allocate up to $100,000 for a total contribution of $200,000. Please contact me for more information. Um, let's see. By providing symmetrical high-speed broadband access, CV Fiber and the other Vermont community communication union districts are closing the rural digital divide, um, blah, blah, blah. Um, so. Right in the record, great. So if you wanna send that to Robin, if you get that by email. Sure, I'll send it to everybody. She can pass it to John. Concerned, and yeah, great. Okay. Thank you, Michael. Mm -hmm. All right, so, <coughs> excuse me, for budget, we have a meeting that is now set up on the 17th at 6 p.m. in the town office. So who's going to write the select board report and for the now, town report? There we go. That's our next, that's our next Usually big Usually the task. chair does. Yep. And I'm willing to do that as long as I get some guidance. Guidance? Well, yeah. um, you can read the report. I can read my report from the last one, yep. last time, okay. which I wrote. Um, Got it. So and it's just whatever you want to share, okay. more or less. Well, what I usually do is go over the select board minutes and kind of make a list, kind of refreshes my memory of what happened over the year, um, and kind of make it you know, make it from that. Okay. Will do. So, Chris Codius is writing the select word report, mm -hmm. which should be to you by the, what, late this week, good enough? Next week is okay. Late this week okay or no? Not okay. I'm fine with that. I'll leave Robin to. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, Excuse if you have it later in the week, this week, mm -hmm. is that good enough? Can be done. Got it. So okay. So did we agree? It, was there adjustment to the agenda to go into executive session? There was. Okay. All right. I'll make a motion that we go into executive session. Can you state Pursuant that? Pursuant to 1 VSA, paragraph 313, uh, parentheses A, parentheses 3. And well, so we would be... At in the request of the town treasurer. Right. Is there anyone else that we want to invite to the executive, executive session besides the, uh, Randy? The town treasurer. Okay. 
And this is mm -hmm. to discuss a town employee? Yes. Okay. All right, so all those in favor of moving into executive session? Aye. 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 Okay, so the uh, Woodbury Select Board has moved into executive session at 720 on 1-9.